In today's video, we're gonna talk about why I think Security Plus is the easiest certification I ever got. I got a story, wanna hear it? Well, here it go. So I've been in IT since 2007. Um, throughout that time, I've been a multitude of things, all in IT, fortunately. I was doing networking pretty heavy for a while, then I was doing cybersecurity stuff uh, really heavy for a while, and I was a project manager. I was help desk, you know, I kind of did that back. I was help desk first. I, went, I didn't go all the way to being a damn project manager and then fall back down to being help desk. Ain't nothing wrong with help desk. It's actually where um, I learned a lot of stuff, a, a lot of stuff in um, help desk, to be honest. Um, so I was in, IT since 2007, but I didn't get my first certification until around about 2010 or 11. So I've been working in IT for a couple years, right? So the first certification I got was called A+. So I knocked out A+, got that, fantastic. Um, about six to seven months after that, I started to study for a certification called Network Plus. So I'm studying for Network Plus, um, Network Plus seemed really difficult because A Plus, just for me, not uh, this is just my opinion. Uh, other shit was harder for you, that's you, but I'm talking about me right now. So, um, A Plus um, just seemed like a lot of stuff, right? It was some networking stuff on there, but it just seemed like just a smorgasbord of shit that I didn't know. So, um, Network Plus is, was hyper focused, right? It was hyper focused, it was all networking stuff. It was all troubleshoot stuff, but it was all network, um, networking um, focus, and it just to me it was difficult. It was it was a really hard test for me. Um, I passed it on my first try. I actually never failed a network plus. I've been taking it, I don't know, three or four times, and you know, every time I have to renew it. That's another thing, just in case um, if you're going on um, your journey. A CompTIA certifications, um, specifically. Uh, you have to um, recertify every three years. I want to say, yeah, every three years. Um, most certifications you have to recertify every few years just because technology changes so fast, right? If you got um, a certification from 10 years ago, that um, technology is probably obsolete. Anyway, so I knocked out Network Plus, um, and then maybe, because once I got A Plus, I kind of was like, I got the ball rolling. Like every six to seven months, I was taking. Or at least I was taking a cert or two a year, right? Anyway, so I knocked on Network Plus. Um, where the hell did I take Security Plus at? I can't remember where the hell I was at when I took Security Plus, but I knew it wasn't too far after um, I took Network Plus. So I kind of had a um, study a regimen down, and it pretty much was I was just studying my ass off. I probably was studying too damn much. I was probably studying like three to four hours every day, and I would give myself um, 30 days at a minimum, and then 60 days max, which I didn't really need to do. I was kind of over-preparing, but um, anyway, when I went and took um, Security Plus, right? I had knocked out A Plus, I had knocked out uh, Network Plus, I had my study regimen down, I kind of knew um, the types of questions, not what was gonna be on the damn test, but kind of how CompTIA asked questions. I know they kind of, you know, um, they're not straightforward, you know, it's gonna have a bunch of extra shit in the question that I don't really need. So I had all that um, experience, so I kind of knew that um, what to expect, right? So anyway, so I'm studying, 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 studying. Um, and back then it was kind of harder to kind of figure out where to go, what to do, uh, who to study, where to study from. And then when I was going through it, man, whew, shit, that's kind of why, I, uh, make this program when I make these videos. When I was going through it, you know, it's cool, but it was a bunch of just just people that was born as hell, man. It's like, cause you know, this IT stuff is cool. You know, they kind of want to, you know, in the movies, they act like it's all hackers and you're going to be in a dark room and doing some cool shit. Man, but when you learn it, it's, it was rough, especially if you have a super dry teacher that act like they need a damn Red Bull IV to have any kind of energy. It's just kind of rough, man, it's rough. And then, um. Uh, but I knew my ultimate goal was, you know, to get certified. So like, whatever, where I got to get this shit from, I get it from. So I just had um, a multitude of resources, probably too many resources. Um, drop in the comments what you think about that. Do you feel it's better to have a bunch of resources to learn from or one 
or two, you know, um, resources to learn from. Me, personally, I like it better when it's just one, you know, source. I can get all the shit I need from that one source, and then that's the way it is, instead of me having to get a little bit over here and a little bit over there. And then a lot of times, um, if you're listening to a bunch of different instructors, a bunch of different YouTubers, a bunch of different damn people that's never going to uh, pass the certification any damn way, uh, they'll have different... Uh, viewpoints and a lot of times those viewpoints will confuse you, you don't know what the hell's going on anyway. So, the name of this video was Security Plus was the easiest exam I ever took, and that is true just for me. The reason I think it was easy because I crushed that shit, man. I think I, 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 I took Security Plus um, the first time and I was in it for maybe an hour, and it was like you know, the other ones I kind of was like, ah, I think I passed, but I don't know. That one I knew I passed it, like I knew I passed it. And I think the reason that it was so easy was because I had already got those other certifications, right? Um, even with me working in the field, when I first got, um, when I first started studying Security Plus, I was still in networking and was trying to get into cybersecurity and security and stuff, right? So I wasn't actually working in security just yet. So that was one of my motivations to get it was so I could, you know, move around a little bit easier, get promoted, that kind of stuff. Um, what the hell are we talking about? So Security Plus, it was easy because I had already had the knowledge from A Plus, right? And Network Plus. Now, if you've taken a CompTIA exam before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, the certification are kind of um, taught like in a ladder method, right? So if you got A Plus, everything um, that's on Network Plus, or some of the stuff that's on Network Plus, how, how can I say it? Okay, this is a better way to say it. The way that the shit is taught on Network Plus is as if you already know the stuff that's on A Plus, right? The stuff, the way the stuff is taught on Security Plus or the way that the stuff is presented on Security Plus is as if you already have A Plus and Network Plus. That makes sense? All right, so that's why um, a lot of times I tell people like, hey, can I just be a Security Plus? Like, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. There's people walking on the moon. Would I uh, suggest you do that shit? Not at all. But you can do it, you know, if you want to. You know, there's a bunch of people. I won't say a bunch. That may be a treasure. But there are people, you know, who pass um, Security Plus without any other experience um, all the time. But a lot more often, there's people that fail Security Plus, right? And pretty much crush their whole dreams. They pretty much say, oh, I'm stupid. I can't do this just because it took Security Plus first without having any prior knowledge, any prior experience, never taken another test um, before. And that Security Plus, if you don't know any of the acronyms, you're not talking about acronyms, whoop your ass inside of the testing center. Um, if you don't know the basis of networking, if you don't know the basics of the way operating systems work, if you don't know the basis of, you know, all this stuff is gonna be pretty tough, right? So uh, Security Plus, um, like I said, was my easiest. Um, certification because I already had those certifications so that's another reason um, why you know the 15,000 students that I have taught that's why I set them up the way I do um, I have them take if they don't if they're really really um, I don't want to say behind but if they um, need a little bit more help you know I usually start them off with something called ITF plus um, so I'll throw them in um, our ITF plus course get them sped up, and then had to move on to A+, then Network+, plus, and then Security+. Plus. Now, you know, you all are grown men and women, y'all can do what the hell y'all want to, but you know, my, that's just my suggestion for my students. Because I even have students that go directly for Security+, plus, boom, and get it. But more often, um, the students that go through that ladder progression, that go through um, those steps, they end up passing Security+, plus more often. Um, now, I do get a lot more like, hey, your, your course is great, blah, 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 blah. Damn, I should have listened to you. I was like, yeah, I told you. Like, I know <laughs> the course is good. You ain't got to tell me that. I know that. But Security Plus, you know, even though I give you what you need, it's still, once you get inside the box, it's still going to make me some things that pop up that if you haven't taken A Plus, you haven't taken Network Plus. Because also, um, in the Security Plus course, I give you everything that you need. But even I, you know, I kind of step back a few times, but most of the times I even teach the stuff as if you already know A plus and network plus, because that's pretty much what I set you up for. Makes sense? So anyway, um, in the comments below, uh, let me know um, what certification that you're taking. If you've taken a certification, 
Um, what are some tips and tricks that you use? Um, do you like, like I said, do you like to study from um, one spot or several spots? Um, another thing for the YouTube algorithm, make sure you like this damn video. Uh, make sure you subscribe so I can continue to make videos like these without you guys support. Um, I won't be making these damn videos no more because um, believe it or not, those likes, they help a lot um, with visibility, so on and so forth. Um, but other than that, if you need a full course, like I said at the beginning, uh, I'm the creator, curator, a proud father of the uh, Become a IT Master program, which is helping students every day get certified and actually get inside of um, the IT industry. And other than that, I'll see you in class.